TDR Network presents Inspire 2015. Brothers and sisters, when it comes to shukur, there are three pillars to it. Number one, you have to internally feel the ni'mah. Number two, you have to verbally state it or say thank you. Number three, you have to put that physical ni'mah into action or that ni'mah into physical. Is it, is it clear? So sometimes, I'm not sure how it is here, but sometimes when you go to the supermarket or Walmart, if you know Walmart, Allahu A'la. So then they give you like a bag and like, thank you. And their faces are completely normal. We cannot judge people's intentions, but sometimes someone may say thank you, but it's not from the heart, right? No, that's not shukr. Allah would not perhaps accept that. It has to come from the heart, verbally express it. And if you can, put it into action. Is it clear? And those are the main pillars. So this being said, brothers and sisters, how is your gratitude to the creator and to the creation? Because Allah, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, every time you say what? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, the one who does not thank the people has not thanked Allah. So did you guys thank the volunteers? Maybe they were late a little bit, some of them. Maybe were you thankful to the speakers overall? Did you ever, for example, someone that did any good to you, were you thankful towards them? Maybe someone were about to sit by your seat, you had your jacket, so you picked it up. Did you tell them thank you when they did that for you or you felt entitled for that seat? How do you feel when someone told you, you know what, no, you go, you go ahead, that was fine. You go first. Did you tell them thank you or you felt that, yeah, I'm deserving of this? The one who opened the door for you, did you tell them thank you? This is the signs of the believer. May Allah make us grateful to the creation, to the creation and to the creator. Amin Rabbil Alameen. With this being said, brothers and sisters, are you grateful towards your spouse? That's, you know, like brother, we're not married. By the way, just a quick question. Who here is uh, uh, married? And who here is not married? Okay. There's some that did not raise their hand. Is it like undercover? <laughs> oh, like no one knows about this. Okay. okay. Take the advice of marriage even if you're not married. May Allah bless you all with righteous spouse. Say ameen. Brother, you said you're, you said you're married and you raised your hand. You said ameen again. You want one more? I'll get you in trouble. May Allah protect us. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. So the point being, one time, uh, one of my teachers, a brother came to him very excited. He said, Sheikh, I just had a newborn baby, alhamdulillah, this week. And I want to begin from today. I will not procrastinate. I want to educate my son and teach my son ways to, for him to be the leader of the ummah. The Sheikh told him, you are late. He's like, Sheikh, let me clarify. I got the baby this week. He's like, I'm clarifying, you're late. He's like, what do you mean? He's like, you begin raising your children before getting married by picking the right spouse. Allahu Akbar. So it's something to appreciate. So when, what I'm saying is that there's a research about being grateful to your spouse. It's out of the Gottman Institute out of Washington. It says that the number one predictor of success in marriage, huh? number one predictor in success in marriage is the level of gratitude you show to your spouse. Allahu Akbar. So they say, research have shown, and I purposely use secular knowledge to benefit. There's no harm in it, inshallah. They say that if you're able to be grateful towards five things every time you remember one bad thing of your spouse, if you're able to do that one to five ratio, then the chances of you having a successful marriage is 90%. Allahu Akbar. But what's even more amazing than all of this put together is that the fact that the Prophet وسلم, mentioned this before, that research. He said, La yafrak, la yafrak mu'minun mu'mina. A believing man should not hate the believing woman, his wife. Why? The Prophet says, In kariha minha khuluqa, if you dislike something about your spouse, radiya minha akhar. Remember another good thing she's done. So the Prophet reduces it to one to one ratio. Allahu Akbar. You have to appreciate, that's how the life you have to be living, brothers and sisters. You know, what about your gratitude to your parents? How grateful are you to your mother? You might not recognize, but the sleepless nights she had when she was pregnant with you. And your father, you know, struggling. And then when even you, when you were born, your mother had to breastfeed you and you took even more of her nutrition from her own energy. 
Are you grateful towards that? Allah reminds you. Wallahi, with all frankness, amongst the most people who are ungrateful towards in our lives are our parents. There's no doubt in that. And you have to also all realize that you will never be grateful enough to your parents. The two entities that you might never be grateful towards in your existence is Allah and then your parents. You have to appreciate that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ حَمَلَتْهُ أُمُّهُ وَهْنًا عَلَى وَهْنٍ وَفِصَالُهُ فِي عَامَيْنِ أَنِ اشْكُرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيْكَ إِلَيَّ الْمَصِيرِ Allah says be grateful to me and to your parents. The ulama said therefore if you're not grateful to your parents, you're not grateful to Allah. Done deal. There's no negotiation right there. Allahu Akbar. If the only thing your parents have done to you, the only good thing, is the fact that you exist that's enough of a reason for you to thank them for the rest of your life. I'm not saying raising you. I'm not saying spending on you. I'm talking even at least specifically towards the mother. The moment she delivered you. Wallahi, it's enough that the fact she's a reason that you say la ilaha illallah today. That you know about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Something to truly appreciate. And there's a lot of benefit when you're grateful towards people. Research have proven that one of the strongest factors that increases your happiness is the amount of gratitude that you show. Researchers have shown that when you want to give nasiha advice to someone, if you begin with appreciating the good qualities they have, the chances of your nasiha being accepted increases. Research have shown that when you are showing gratitude to a person for a good they've done towards you, the chances of them doing the good again increases. Allahu Akbar. You have to verbalize it, brothers and sisters, and internalize it and put it into action. Sometimes, literally, you have to sit in the corner, in your car, in your room, and just think the good that people have done towards you. Isn't that right? You have to just ponder and think the good that happens. What they've done to you. And sometimes you have to overlook the mess-ups that they've done in your life. Be just, akhi. Don't just have one thing ruin everything. May Allah forgive us. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. And verbalize it. Yes, verbalize it. You might say, but they know I love them. Sah? They know... Uh, I'm appreciative. No, say it. Say it. Uh, thank you. Jazakallahu khayran. Shukriya. Whatever you name it. You have to verbalize it. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man sunia ilayhi ma'roof. Whoever received any good from a person, then what the Prophet said, فَقَالَ لِي فَاعِلِهِ جَزَاكَ khayra فَقَدْ أَبْلَغَ فِي الثَّنَاءِ If you say jazakallahu khayran, you have fulfilled the return of that favor upon you that you received from the one who done good to you. Allahu Akbar. So have it continuously saying jazakallahu khayran. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sitting with one of the sahaba. The sahabi said, Ya Rasulullah, you see this man? I love him. The Prophet said, did you tell him? Did you express that? He said, no. Then he said, a'limhu, go tell him. So the brother went to him and he said, Uhibbuka fillah, I love you for Allah's sake. Then this man responded, Ahabbaka alladhi ahbabtani lah. And with this being said, I want to truly tell you all that I love you all for Allah's sake, truly. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make that love as means for all of us to go to Jannah. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. And feel free to love me back, it's optional. Okay? So with that being said, really verbalize it. Send a text message. I allow you to use your phones. It's okay, no problem. Text Baba, I love you. He will ask you why. <laughs> He's like, what's going on? And if they ask you that, if your friend, your brother, your sister, you say, I love you, thank you, and they question why, this shows that you lack gratitude. Let's be frank. Most likely. Because if you're continuously thankful, they will not find it strange when you thank them. Correct? Correct? So make it as a habit. It will be awkward. Trust me. A few days will be very awkward. But once you get used to it, wallah, you will benefit more than the ones who receive the thank you. May Allah make us grateful. Amir Rabbil Alameen. And the highest levels of gratitude is when you put it into action. So for example, my uncle brought me this for my, and when I got married, and may Allah bless our marriages. I got rejected six times. May Allah for, uh, forgive us. But they all regret now, by the way. No, 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 no. Alhamdulillah, may Allah bless them all, bless their marriages. So one of the best ways to thank my uncle for the watch is when I walk to him, I'm like, Ammi, how are you? And I wear the watch in front of me. He's like, I'm like, how are you, Ammi? Everything is good? So he sees the watch he's given me. That's the best way to say thank you. SubhanAllah. You have to appreciate that. Remember, to make the blessing, what? Apparent. Correct? Make it apparent. May Allah make, make us 
of that level, Amir Rabbil Alameen. But you might say, Akhi, many times people have done good to me, but it's very difficult on me to return the favor. Correct? Correct or not? Correct. Your Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gives you a method to return the favor, even if you physically cannot. He said, Man ata ilaykum ma'rufa Whoever has done good to you, then return the favor. Then he says, فَإِن لَمْ تَجِدُوا And if you're unable to return the favor, فَادْعُوا لَهُ حَتَّى تَعْلَمُوا أَنْ قَدْ كَافَأْتُمُوهُ Then continuously make dua for them until you feel you have sufficed the favor they've done to you. Allahu Akbar. So always make dua for those who have done good to you. This will reward you. Allah will increase you with that ni'mah and more and more and more and more. Allahu Akbar. So may Allah make us following that sunnah. Say ameen. Question. Will you ever reach a level where you make dua to your parents and you say, okay, that's enough, I believe, alhamdulillah. Never. Correct? So continue making dua for them even after their death. Allahu Akbar. May Allah make us righteous to our parents. Ameen, Rabbil Alameen. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.